Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Stranded Deep. This is my, um, not my first time playing, I played it around a little bit to learn the controls and stuff. Uh, I thought I'd make a, a Let's Play series of this. Uh, it's a game early access, as you can see. Uh, not unlike uh, other survival games where you uh, start out in, on a plane. Uh, this one you can walk around a little bit. Uh, so let's see. Uh, man, there's no service on this plane. Uh, where's this? Where's my drink? Where is my drink? Alright. So, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna look out. Can't look out there. Okay. Let's see. There's the trolley. Cocktail ingredients. So, yeah, the crafting is a little is a little bit different in this game. Uh, I really like it. I'm gonna mix a cocktail. Hey, uh. Hey, guys, you don't mind I, uh, grab myself a drink, huh? No? Okay. Uh, so tab to open your inventory and select your lighter. So we're going to put this thing on fire. Because that's totally legal on a plane, I bet. <laughs> uh, e to pick up drink. And now let's drink it. Perfect. All right, head back to your seat. Can I read the paper? What's on the paper? Shark claims another. Oh, there's a little hint. gone, and already there's a shark under us. That's all right. Let's just uh, head to land. Yeah, a lot of people are calling this the castaway simulator, which I, I can kind of understand that. Do -do 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 -do. And which you'll probably see, see later too. Uh, so yeah, there's not a whole lot of heads up display, and you can see how do you keep track of your hunger, health, and all that? You got a trusty little watch. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, August 3rd. All right. You can click here, you can see we got our health, food, and thirst. Those are the main uh, main ones, and you also get uh, sick or injured, and you have a lot of a lot of things. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, collect some rocks and sticks. Since we're good on hunger for the moment. Okay. Okay. That's all that's on the ground. There we go. You can see we have. Uh, did I get an island with no coconuts? <laughs> My last island, I had a lot of coconuts. All right. Okay, three rocks. All right. So the crafting in this game, you basically just throw things on the ground. 
That's bone. I can't make anything yet. Um, oops. Because we're going to need some... Some yucca. Or yucca. Or whatever. E to pick up. stick. <clears throat> These things, uh, they haven't Im implemented, uh, which I've I've seen anyway, um, like farming or seeds or anything, but these things will grow back uh, and so will these uh, potato plants. Uh, might as well pick up some potatoes while we're here. <laughs> so now I will show you what we can do. So basically, as you can tell, we're pretty limited on supplies on this little island. And if you can look over there in the horizon, I'll uh, use my field of view to zoom in on it. See, there's other islands. There's one over there. <clears throat> basically, it's a infinite uh, procedurally gen gender baby bb. Uh, generated world and uh, and very easy to get lost <laughs> so yeah I can make a campfire that's not what I want to do just yet let's dump these and you can see everything gets kind of highlighted we are going to make uh, uh, well, actually, the first thing I want to make is a spear, and I do believe that you can actually pick up items. And ha! Ah, and boom! Okay, come on! <laughs> well, you're supposed to be able to <laughs> do that. There, there we go. Rock shards. Uh, there's another one. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there. A little hard to see. There we go. And if you put that in the mix, you'll get the ability to make a knife and a spear. So, there we go. We've made a spear. I'll pick that up so you can see it. There we go. And with that, you can do some fishing. Uh, it's set up the way I've noticed. I like the bigger fish. There's a sardine. Um, okay, let's go underwater. Okay, I'm not a fisher. I'm a little worried. Uh, there we go. Of course. There we go. Got got myself a fish. Okay, it's not. <laughs> All right, let's uh, move up on land. Okay, because I wanted to. Okay, we don't need to be carrying around the spear too much. You can eat these raw. Like that. We can cook them. We can go find bigger fish. You can even kill sharks and cut them up and. We need them. Oops, wrong button. What else can I make? We wanted to make a an axe. So yeah, and another thing I like, you can actually climb trees. Pretty effectively too. <laughs> of course, it's a little scary when uh, Going up and down these because you can get injured and break your arm. Uh, so far, you need to have to go out and uh, look for uh, for medicines and uh, and stuff. But the main thing is uh, gather resources and survive. 
So I am going to go ahead and gather some sticks. Or trees, I might as well bring it over here. You're pretty strong. There you go. Oops. Of course you can find better tools <laughs> around. Just leave that there for now. And where did I leave the boat? Uh, we don't need to. We'll put the potatoes over here. You're very limited on uh, the place. We don't need to be carrying a lighter. We'll use that later. Now you can see there's a sunken ship. I like it. So, let's swim out here and then you can find loot, all sorts of good stuff. <clears throat> let's see what we get here. There's a console. Ooh, and a bucket. Take that. And duct tape. My last save, I had a, such a hard time finding duct tape, so that that's, uh, that's worth gold, let me tell you. Because you can also build a raft and, and a motor with parts you find. Uh, let me pour out the water. Because a bucket is pretty useful. Uh, you can actually just set it on the ground and it'll collect uh, fresh water when it rains. So let me do that here. Oh, tipped over. There, there we go. Oh, that'll work. That's just a bucket. And luckily you can walk right through it without kicking it over. <laughs> Which is a nice feature. Okay. Okay, you can check your status. I'm getting a little bit hungry. But that's alright. There's a shark. Of course, uh, like any any uh, early access games, it's uh, it's got a few bugs. Um, as, uh, one they just uh, fixed. Uh, actually, I haven't played it on this version yet, but they um, <coughs> where the boats didn't uh, float uh, just right. <laughs> so when you get close to it, it would sink to the bottom and then just pop right out of the water. It was actually pretty hilarious. Uh, but they fixed that. And uh, this game is really amazingly beautiful under our underwater and all that. I was hoping I would find something to show you before we set off to uh, on our adventure. Uh, every once in a while, you'll see bubbles, and you can uh, you can bet that there's something under there. Uh, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. And basically the deeper you are, the chances of finding uh, useful items uh, seem to increase. Oh, there we go. There I see some bubbles. It's a little hard for you guys to see probably, but it's uh, right where my little cursor dot is. I could probably see it better. So yeah, I don't see any... Heh, <laughs> never mind. A little frightening. Uh, let's go. And of course, you don't need to hold your breath. Oh, there's... Opens on the other side. Oh, another bucket. Okay, nice. That was a plane rack. Yeah, and that's a hammer. Awesome. Anything else of uh, value? Whoa, that's not free. Oh, crap. 
Did you see that? Oh. <laughs> ah. Um, yeah, I'm a little uh, scared of sharks. Oh, he's uh, he's angry at me. Whew. Look at him. Yeah, okay. You can't get me, can you? <laughs> yeah, they can actually bump your boat and knock you off. <laughs> and I find... Yeah, see, now you just bump my boat. Jerk. You're trying to knock me over. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. And just you wait. When I get a better weapon, I'm gonna go make lunch out of you. Okay, so he's not actually too happy with me, but that's all right. Very good. I don't know if you can hear it. I have the volume down a little bit uh, on that, but they, they play this little evil music when there's a shark around. Another bucket, bucket of seawater. Let's empty that out. There we go. And uh, you can actually turn off. I probably said that already, but uh. Real quick before I end this episode, this is kind of like this intro. I have uh, I have uh, bigger things planned. Um, so the last thing I'm going to show you is you can also build uh, structures if you haven't already seen it. I know the game has been out a little bit. Uh, let me just move that over there. Over there. Since I picked up a hammer, I don't have to craft one. Now you can see you get a different uh, crafting. It turns it blue, or the highlights turn blue. Now you get to build a foundation. And there you can play, so I'm probably going to build my little hut right here, you know, which will also include a little dock for my, uh, my raft, which is coming. Yeah. And. I think if you actually, yeah, see that? If you're over too far away, you actually won't get uh, any crafting options. But if you move your materials to where you're going to craft or what you're going to build onto, all of a sudden I can build a support. So I thought that's a very unique way of doing uh, crafting. Uh, and I like it. So that's going to be our little porch, so I'm going to build, build a little thing here. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this so far. This was a little more informative than uh, what I have plans for. Well, if I can learn how to talk. But yeah, let me know uh, uh, what you guys think. Um, uh, rather, just uh, basically... I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, just uh, if you guys have any ideas of what to uh, what to do in this game, I get to watch the moon rise. It's always full moon here, here in the South Pacific or wherever we are. Uh, you guys have a great day, and thank you guys again for watching. Bye bye.